Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We have started a brand new CD series 10 on circles. Today is webinar number 4. Today we are going to review what is known as segment of a circle. So let's find out. Now in the last episode we saw that if we draw a circle, we have drawn a circle with center say O and we have taken any two points on this circle. Let's name the point A and B. Doesn't matter what we name them, you can write them as P and Q or D and F or X and Y, etc. So we take any two points on the circle. What we have seen is that now it divides the, the entire circle into two parts. So any part of the circle between the two points is called an arc, right? And this one highlighted in bright yellow, which is a smaller part of the circle or the smaller arc, it is called minor arc because it is the smaller, so it is minor. And the rest of the arc or rest of the circle, which is the longer part of the circle between the two points is called the major arc. Major equals longer. Now also, here, if I, so our center is O and our points are A and B. And now, what if we draw a chord? We have seen earlier, chord is a straight line joining any two points on the circle. So if we join the two points by a chord, the region or the portion or the part of the circle between the chord and the arc is called segment. So part of the circle between the chord and the arc. So we have two arcs, right? So we have one this arc and the other one is this arc. So there are two segments. So this is a segment, this is a segment. In other words, let's, let's highlight it. So what we have is, since there are two arcs, major arc and minor arc, we have two segments. For any one given chord AB, we have two segments, right? So one is shown by bright yellow, the other one is shown in blue. So this one, which is the yellow one, the portion of the circle between the chord and the minor arc is called minor segment. Again, so between the chord and the arc, we get a segment. And because the minor arc and the chord will be minor segment, so this one is minor segment. And as you can imagine, the other one, which is between the chord and the major arc, this is the major arc, highlighted in blue, this entire part is called the major segment. So friends, it's important to understand that whenever we talk about segment, we are not talking about something which is on the circle itself, but we are talking about the part of the circle which is enclosed by the chord and the arc. That means the inside of a circle. 